What's up, beautiful people? It's me, Ricky Jones Jr. We also have... Tatum Pumania from Melrose Toyota. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. I'll speak for them. Y'all can let us know in the comments below. I'm doing great. How are you doing, my I'm brother? I'm feeling great. I'm feeling great and excited for today's video. Just like that. I'm yeah. excited, too, because this Urban Cruiser that we are going to do a review today, I saw it first when I came here okay. to Johannesburg. And I was like, man, what's that vehicle? It's like an SUV, yes. but it's small at the same time, so you're able to like park and maneuver yes. the way you need to for going sure. around the city. So it's like, to me, the perfect city SUV. Definitely, definitely. So here in SA, we actually call these crossovers. Uh huh. Um, this is just before your SUV. So yes. think of it as a light SUV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a little yeah. bit lighter than the uh, one we did last yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it, that's it. <laughs> so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it, y'all. Let's go. All right, so the Urban Cruiser, this is the 2024 edition of the Urban Cruiser. It starts from 343,000 Rand and goes all the way up to 383,000 Rand for your range topper. So the particular car that we have in this video is the base model. This is the Urban Cruiser XS. It only comes in a manual option. Um, the lineup consists of three cars. You've got the XS, which is the one you're looking at. You can get the XR manual, which sits in the middle of the range. And the range topper being the XR automatic that sits at the top of the range. The car comes standard with a 1.5 liter, four cylinder, naturally aspirated petrol engine, optimized for ease of drivability. This power unit, which is available across all models, develops a maximum power of 77 kilowatts at 6,000 revs per minute and peak torque of 138 Newton meters at 4,400 revs per minute. The average fuel consumption for both the five-speed manual and the four-speed automatic models is measured at a penny-pinching 6.1 liters per 100 kilometers. So this is a car that will definitely not break your bank. So with that said, great people, I love the Urban Cruiser large because like I said, the size. Yeah. And even comparing your height to the height of the Urban Cruiser, yeah. it's about the same. Yeah. Y'all about the same height. Yeah, it's just fairly high considering, you know, that's not a uh, full speed like SUV yeah so you do have the necessary ground clearance especially in South Africa we've got a lot of potholes okay so you know this kind of car you'll kind of drive with relative ease because when you do find yourself on roads with potholes you won't have an issue with this particular car there it is but yeah let's go through the exterior of Talk the car to me. I'm Talk gonna start to you me. in the front okay so here you've got a black and chrome grille nice um, what's nice about it is they basically integrated your daytime running lights into the front grille so it actually looks like it's part of the grille itself yeah 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 um, this serves as your daytime running lights it's split here so you've got essentially like a striped effect going on here and it also serves as your in your indicators as well um, what they then did is on the shoulders of the bumper here in front they fitted your halogen headlamps. Uh -huh. So this is actually the car's headlamps over here. And I like what they did here with the honeycomb style grill. True. This is obviously to allow air to essentially hit the radiator and help with the cooling of the engine. Yep. And then you've got a different color style bottom bumper here. This is just to give the car a little bit of presence and mm -hmm. styling as well, just to make it stand out and pop, especially considering this is the entry level. They, you know, try to spice it up to make it look better, you know? True. Not to look too plain as well. True. And I love that honeycomb feature that you talk about. Yeah. Like, that's nice. That's yeah, nice. No, it looks cool. It does give a car a little bit of character. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. So I like that they did that um, there. Um, on the side here, car comes standard with 17-inch wheels. Nice. This being the entry-level one, you don't get the 17 alloys that are fitted on your XR model. However, you do get hubcaps on a 17-inch um, rim. Um, coming down the side here, we've got retractable mirrors that's mm. done from the inside of a car. You've got a button that you press and the mirrors will fold electronically. Nice. You can also adjust the mirrors themselves through a knob that's on the inside of the car. True. Um, the side mirrors are also color-coded according to the spec that you go for. And when we come down onto the side here, door handles, you get the same effect here. You get color-coded door handles. Yep. You get a button here, and I'm sure you're wondering what the button is for. Mm. So the car comes standard with keyless entry. So whether you're buying the entry level or the range topper, you get keyless entry, and this allows you to lock and unlock the car without having to actually take the key out of your pocket. Nice. And if we continue down the side of the car, you get this one sort of stripe that goes through the whole back of the car. Yeah, yeah, where yeah. you've got your brake lights sort of integrated into the back of the, the, the car. Mm -hmm. You've got the matte finishing on the Toyota badge. Mm. You've also got the Urban Cruiser branding over here. And at the bottom here, you've got your PDC sensors. So the car does come standard with um, rear PDC. And you've got a little camera there at the back to help you when you need to maneuver through tight spaces. Um, I like that. Another thing they did is I like how they put the indicators and reverse lights on the side. Just gives the car a little bit more character. Doesn't look too plain from the rear. And the same effect in the front they did 
a different color bumper here at the back just to give the car a little bit more character so that the car doesn't look too plain from the rear as well. I so like yeah, that. That's the car in a nutshell. Okay, and just like that, great people, those are some of the reasons why this vehicle was like one of the ones that I was liking. I don't think I did get to rent this vehicle while at or visiting here, yeah. but I always saw it and I knew like it had it had benefits, no, right? Definitely. And even too how it's compact, right? Yeah. Being a crossover, nice compact, but yet with that ground clearance. Yeah. See, things need. like that, things like that you don't think about or know about until it's too late in yeah. some cases, <laughs> or you're thankful that it is something that you have, definitely, so definitely. now I appreciate that. Let's definitely. go ahead. What were you about to say? Let's um, talk about this trunk I actually situation. didn't um, mention it. So yeah. over the previous model, what they actually did is they yeah. extended the car's length. Ah. They also made the car a little bit wider. So what does that give you as the consumer? It essentially gives you more cabin space. Okay. So you've got a lot more space in the interior, but we'll go through that once we go into the interior. And with those adjustments being made, the boot is now officially 25 liters bigger than Woo! the previous Urban Cruiser. Woo! But we'll show you all of those things once we get into the interior. I just thought um, I'd bring that up and uh, share that information. Nah, I like that. I even see this fan type situation. Yes. What's going on with this? It's uh, for like it's aerodynamics like or antenna? Yeah, so it's the shock fin. You could okay. call it an antenna, but um, yeah, it does also aid with aerodynamics. I also think it does help with the design aspect of the car because um, on the XR you get roof rails so you don't get that on ah. here so I do think it does add a little styling to the car especially because this particular one doesn't come fitted with the roof rails yeah you'd have to go for the XR to get that so yeah this just helps to make the top of the car not look too plain so yeah it's a necessary feature in my opinion so yeah I'm happy it's there I'm facts yeah. I am too yeah. so now let's look in the boot man let's see because you said it, the vehicle was extended yes. with the boot space in mind yes. so let's go ahead and pop that boot All right, so cool. question mm -hmm. knowing that this is the base yes. do the other ones come with an automatic um, opening or um, no so okay. obviously to keep the cost low yeah um, certain creature comforts just weren't added to the absolutely car. Um, that's only because Toyota wanted to make sure they maintain you know that low pricing in terms of this particular vehicle I so love even it. if you go top of the range you're not gonna get um, automatic a power tailgate so however good. so with the boot First of all, you get a 60-40 split, meaning that you have the option to actually drop the seats. So for those of you who like to load items and carry a lot of things with you when you travel, with the seats up, you get 353 liters worth of boot space. Um, I don't have the exact figure on how much the space increases to when you drop the seats, but that will easily go over 400 liters. Easy. Easily. So another advantage to the Urban Cruiser boot is you've got panels on the side, mm -hmm. which have compartments fitted to them yep. that allow you to store additional things. I think I've got a bottle actually fitted to the side there. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, it allows you to store that type of stuff there. And underneath the floor of the boot, you've got a full size spare wheel so you don't necessarily get a space saver here but a full size spare wheel nice. with tools and a safety triangle as well and so even noticing all of that i even see as well there's a space where you can like do a covering type scenario too yes so, so you can conceal the back yes yeah, so you can conceal the back i just removed it okay um yeah um i preferred without it because i yep. think look so i've got a child so i carry you know his pram the baby seat so I just felt like the thing got in the way. There but it yeah, is. It does have a cover. So if you do need one, you, I mean, you'll get it with one. I just took it out. There it so, is. So yeah, you do have a cover for the bag. Huh, yeah. look at that father talk. <laughs> <laughs> I understand, but no, nice, nice boot. Plenty of space, but let's talk about the interior too. Of course, let's go for it. All right. So in the rear, as you can see, there's more than enough space, ample space actually in the rear. You've got storage behind the seats so you can keep whatever papers or other items that you might want to store there. If you look in the center there, we've got rear ventilation as well. So that works in conjunction with the single zone um, climate control that the car comes standard with. Um, in the middle of the seat, you actually got a fold down section of the seat that has additional cup holders and serves as an armrest. Yeah. The car comes standard with isofix points. So for those of you like me who have children, you can comfortably put a baby seat and secure the seat comfortably in the rear of the car. The car also has three point seat belts for each seat. So if you do have passengers in the rear, when they all have their seat belts on, it's a three point seat belt. So they're more than secure. So that speaks to the safety aspect of the car as well. Yep. And on both sides of the vehicle, in the doors, you've got door pins there that can also accommodate additional um, bottles, as well as any other item that you might want to store in the side of the doors. 
you've got electric windows on the rear which can be operated from the door as well and that's essentially what you get in the back of the 2024 urban cruiser all right my brother so tell me about the front seat experience you know what i'm saying what the driver will get to experience while they have this vehicle all right cool so as the driver you benefit from a height adjustable um seat so nice. you only get that as the driver however it is manually operated yep. um if we come over here to the steering wheel you've got a nice steering wheel feels very good in the hands You've got all your controls for essentially the radio here to change the track or if you're listening to the radio itself you can go through the various stations with these buttons here you can also adjust the volume with this knob over here mm -hmm. and you can toggle through the various modes like your android auto for example and apple carplay through here mm -hmm. as well as your bluetooth and other features that are fitted to the car you can also mute the sound in the vehicle by just pushing this button over here mm -hmm. and obviously here you've got your heater as i mean your hooter sorry okay <laughs> as well as an okay. airbag fitted here as uh -huh. well another thing that you can do is obviously turn the lights on and off with this um, knob over here yeah and this also serves as your indicator function yeah and then to control your wipers in the front as well as the rear you can do that with this knob over on here left. on the left yes and yeah as i mentioned to you guys earlier the car does have spot entry as well as smart start and stop so you've got a start button here yeah. all you'd essentially need to do is push the clutch as well as the brake being a manual to basically get the car running yeah um to adjust your side mirrors you've got this lever over here which you'll just toggle to either the left or the right and then you'll adjust according to your preference yeah you can also retract the, the mirrors as i mentioned earlier with this button over here mm -hmm. and the mirrors will essentially fold so if you are in a tight space and you don't want people to necessarily get too close to the car you can press this button and go fold the, the side mirrors away mm. you can lock and unlock the car from inside here as well as the mirrors sorry not the mirrors the windows at the yep. rear from here and you that's can control that, that's that parent uh yeah, parent yeah. protection yeah so you know you know when the guys are in <laughs> the back lock. doing the most you know, just lock the windows and then yeah over here you can operate the windows as well front and rear and then coming to the center console the car does come standard with a seven inch screen monitor mm. it does have android auto and apple carplay to get access to these features you would basically connect your device via this usb port over mm -hmm. here the car also has a 12 volt socket as you can see mm -hmm. however the only thing that i do think is a bit of a drawback for me is the fact that there is only one usb in this car so okay. you don't get any other ones outside of this one here okay however um that's not a huge drawback um the, ve the vehicle does come standard with vehicle stability control which is this button over here mm -hmm. this is for your pdc function so as you reverse closer to an object that's in your rear um you'll get a beeping sound if you mm -hmm. want to disengage that sound you just push this button over here mm -hmm. these are your controls for your single zone climate control so here we don't necessarily have an aircon we've got climate control so you can set the temperature and it saves the temperature you set and nice. it will maintain that temperature throughout your entire drive nice you've got your ventilation as well here and it's got a fairly sleek design um, yeah. i like how they use the bit of silver here just to break the black just to give the car a little bit of styling mm -hmm. and um, yeah some presence because i mean if it was black it would be just too dull in here yeah so i like that they broke that black with the silver here as well mm. then you've got this compartment here i personally use it to house the key which is <laughs> here so you put that here uh -huh. you've got your cup holders here as well you've got more cup holders in the doors yep. as well as additional storage for things like notebooks <laughs> um you've got a sliding armrest here nice. so obviously that provides support when driving yep. and it's got additional storage for whatever else you might want to keep in the car so that's mm -hmm. also a plus you've got a nicely sized cubby hole in there i mm -hmm. do think i have stuff in there okay. i think my lunch okay. is in here uh, definitely yeah 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 uh, so you've got the storage <laughs> there and yeah you've got your lights here at the top that uh -huh. you can adjust um, yourself yeah and then the lights at the back are the ones that are automatic so when you open and close the door it will essentially illuminate from the back but it will light up the entire car yeah and i also like these sun visors they're very nice and big yeah and i like the fact that they've got um big mirrors as well for me why this is a huge plus is the car I was driving prior to this particular car didn't have these mm. so i realized the value of them now that's that it. i have them that's you know you have it. That's it. when <laughs> so you yeah. move up yeah, you when, you, when you move up in life you realize <laughs> that these things are necessary yeah um so yeah unfortunately being the entry level spec of the car we don't have um, cruise control okay however if you go for the xr model you'll basically have the controls for that cruise control on the side of the steering wheel mm. so yeah that's basically the car in a nutshell mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Um, you on that side, Mr. Jones, how are you feeling about the seats? I like it. Truth be told, like, it feels comfortable. Like, it may, does, I mean, it does, it's not bucket, is it? No, nah, it's not bucket. It, it, it does, bucket, but it has these. It does the lumbar support. Yeah, 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 yeah it so. has that. I feel like I'm, I'm stable, yeah, right? Sure. And even with the seat, but I'm secure. Yeah. Uh, but at the same <laughs> time, no, I mean, it's a nice ride. It's everything that I thought it would be yeah. from seeing it on the outside. However, like, no, I'm comfortable. I feel like there's enough space yeah. between myself and the driver. Yes. And I mean, it's good to go, but it's not too much, right? Because yes. if you with your lady or your significant other, mm-hmm. you can just reach over and touch. <laughs> but uh, in that, that's not our case. We not gonna do that. But at the same time, it is a very nice vehicle. Mm-hmm. Plenty of head space, you know, even though we're not tall people. Mm-hmm. At the end of the day, there is space between us and so we're not feeling claustrophobic or anything like that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, there's plenty enough space in the back mm-hmm. where if you need to reach out and touch your kids, you could do so. Yeah. Or you could tell them to chill out. You know what I'm saying? Like, because you know, we fathers. So we think about them things. Yeah. You're gonna have to uh, sooner than later. But at the end of the day, very nice, very yeah. nice. I'm definitely feeling the vibe, and I, even with it being cloth, mm-hmm. being entry level, yeah. it's definitely a nice one. It's not like you know, just a not nice one. Yeah. It's a very nice cloth yeah. material, yes. and I definitely feel like if it was to get dirty, I could easily wipe it clean. Yes, but um, Again. you do have the option. Um, so uh, sorry to cut you off. No, you're good. Um, the car doesn't come with leather, so even if you go for the high spec, however, you can optionally fit that. Okay. You're looking at around thirteen thousand, but that's excluding okay. VAT. So obviously, when you factor in VAT, that figure is going to change. Yeah. But yes, you do have the option to spec it up with leather. I'm actually busy with a client at the moment oh. to purchase this car, and I'm okay. going to fit leather for her. Oh wow. What I will do um, is when the car comes back, yeah, I will actually take some pictures yep. or record some footage. Actually, nice. Share that with you guys so that you can see how it looks when it's specced up with the leather. Dumb. Oh. So definitely you So can. it is an option Yeah it is an option It's, it's an, option. an option It's definitely. just aftermarket Yes No okay. no no It's not aftermarket Oh they can do it through Toyota It's through Toyota So oh, okay. usually when we do Do fitments like that for you We number one Do them with Toyota Accredited suppliers Okay So when we take them there They will not affect The value of the car If nice. anything it might assist With adding value to the car Because you'll have One of the few Urban cruisers That's actually fitted with leather There which it is a is. good selling point For when you decide To resell the car in future Yeah So that is something to consider mm. Um, another thing that I did not mention uh, mm-hmm. that this car actually has is again with the seven inch monitor you do have um, Wi-Fi as well. So nice. especially for those trips when you have the kids and you guys are maybe driving down to KZN for example, mm-hmm. which is about a five hour drive, you know you can have them in the back with their tablets and they can just use the internet that's provided by the car. So yeah, that's also another thing to consider when making your decision as to whether or not you want to buy this particular car yeah and i actually forgot to ask um let us know what you guys think about the interior of the urban cruiser as well as the exterior um let us know what you like what you don't like Mm -hmm. and yeah you know let's get interactive in the comment section there there it is there it is let's take it for a drive now y'all all All right so we out here in the streets yes sir which i mean even with the manual how does it drive uh drives quite well actually very soft clutch okay um it's easy to kind of like um you know adjust uh, in terms of the clutch and the accelerator okay some cars are tricky to do that balancing but yeah this car i'm having no problems okay and i also like how it transitions through the gears you don't actually feel that jerk yeah 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 yeah, when you when you change through the gears but how does it feel being a passenger that's that no it's cool yeah. like you know it's to your point i'm not like <laughs> as i would imagine manual vehicle experience is yeah. on the passenger side um but to my even point even ahead and thinking ahead yeah. you're sitting up higher right mm-hmm. you're not as high as like you know a like a or something all yeah. right yeah. or like a big suv but at the same time we're higher than that vehicle so let me ask you this does this have a low get up and go to it or i'll be honest it, with you does have get up and go to okay. it but one thing i have noticed and for me it is a bit of a drawback especially because they the car's designed to be fuel efficient but like when you're on the highway so obviously now i won't do it because i'm only driving 80 yeah but when you drive like 120 it tends to rev high okay and um it doesn't have that overdrive feature that you get on the automatic version, okay which cuts the revs so because this is uh. manual i can't put it in overdrive so it revs very high okay. when you drive it at high speeds and okay. I feel like that's counterintuitive in terms of it Gas. being fuel efficient. Yep. So yeah, that is for me a bit of a drawback, but in terms of its overall driving experience, the power is yeah. it's, it's good.
with it. Too. Yeah. Now, even too with the power, I, I'm even thinking about like the bumps. Yes. It doesn't feel like rough on a road no, or no, no, no. anything like that. But I think it speaks to you even talking about it sitting higher. Yeah, it speaks. It sits higher definitely. Yeah. So um, I also enjoy that aspect of it because um, yeah, it just gives you a bit more driver confidence, especially because you got a lot more visibility out the front. Mm. I can see very clearly out the back. Nice. Uh, my side mirrors are such that I can see perfectly on the side. So yeah. in terms of visibility, this car's fantastic. Mm. Um, I was actually impressed with the sound insulation as well. Okay, um, it does true. It does a good job at keeping um, outside oh, sounds nice. outside. Yeah. You're right. So, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I'm but impressed right. with that because um, the things I've driven the previous one. Yes. And that one, you get a lot of wind noise. You oh. get a lot of tire noise as, as well in the cabin. Okay. So one thing I definitely looked out for when I drove this one is the, that they addressed that, and they definitely did. No, they definitely did. Yeah. I, you're right. Because yeah. I mean, the audio, what you're hearing, is not touched or anything like that yes. so you're even getting the sound that we're even getting definitely, while here and definitely. to your point i don't hear anything let me just put the window down so we can yeah, because quite notice noise the outside. difference yeah, because it's quite noise outside I mean, right there's a lot this happening action outside is when... you know there's a lot happening outside there's right. a lot of cars i mean you got the taxi guys they're always on the hooters hello so the fact that when you are in this car and you close the windows i mean this you're is, in this yeah, car the difference is like day and night so from the other previous version yes definitely okay and for me, my biggest um, my biggest thing that like draws me to this car yep. is um, the previous Urban Cruiser was a fantastic car. Okay. But styling was pathetic. I'll be oh, honest with you. Okay. It looked like a box on wheels. Okay. It was not a, an attractive design at all. Okay. So you know when I saw this one, I I, I was quite pleased with how they upgraded the mm. appearance of it aesthetically. Yeah. They definitely made it look like a pretty car. Okay. Um, it's funky. Um, especially <laughs> if you go for the XR because you can okay. get it in a bi-tone spec meaning you can buy like one that's white and they paint the roof black they okay paint the side nose black yeah i love those and then because the wheels are coming black uh, it just works oh it looks you know, it that, looks that contrast just works correct so you see we've got potholes here oh yeah 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 so Ooh, that was good you see you did you maneuver well you maneuver well <laughs> i don't know i was nervous i don't want to go in that puddle yeah 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 now the thing is look i mean i grew up in sa right so mm -hmm. i've had an opportunity to drive on these roads for a very long time so mm. i just understand how to maneuver around the potholes but yeah. they are, sometimes they're unavoidable <laughs> so i'm just happy that i'm in a car that if i do find myself in that situation i've got enough ground clearance Boom. to not get me into a situation like this guy i mean you saw how we had to literally slow down just right to over here, so. right and even maneuver like yeah. it's, it's a whole movie really test it because he had to struggle to come up here i mean uh, look at us i don't even need to slow down I you're right drive normally up this hill boom boom yeah y'all saw it y'all yeah. saw it like <laughs> we able to do what we needed to so, do yeah, here's some bumps here so i'm gonna just go in them on purpose mm. so it does a good it does a decent job at you know absorbing all of those bumps true yeah so uh, i'm not i'm not uh, I'm mad at the suspension no yeah, no 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 it does do a good job at absorbing you know all those bumps i agree and i like the fact that the engine is especially when you're doing city to city driving yeah um it's not that loud. I mean, you okay. got the radio You're right. Off, and You're it's right. not revving loud. You're right. So I like that as well. Yeah. Um, it speaks to that cabin. Like, yes. it's your cabin experience. Yes. What is it like? Is it loud? Is it aggressive? Like, no. no like, definitely not. And I like the pool. Like, I mean, it's, 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 it's pushing it. Okay. Oh, what gear was that? That was gear two. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, gear two is like your get up and go gear. So if you notice, every time we come to sort of like a yield or mm -hmm. close stop, I tend to put it in two so that when I floor it, you get the okay. necessary power. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. Nice. Ah, it's this. Er, there's another pothole. Disgusting, Ooh. eh? Oh yeah, that's, that was great. that's a real one. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm quite impressed with the in-city driving because usually when you drive, you know, like how we're driving now with a lot of stop and goes, yeah. the consumption gets affected negatively. Okay. I mean, we've got the climate control on low with the AC on. Yeah. We've been doing, you know, a bunch of stop and goes yeah. and I'm averaging 17.1 kilometers per liter. I think. Which is quite reasonable considering yes. the type of driving we're doing. So mm. I can only imagine it getting better when we're out on the highway. Correct. So Correct. That's a very nice, really efficient. Mm -hmm. yeah. Man, it's the urban cruiser. <laughs> if you're trying to cruise in the urban setting, you already know the vehicle to get. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> this is perfect for 
exactly that. Yeah, yeah. I'm happy with this car, if I'm being honest. There uh, it is. I do think your review is very fair. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no, I'm definitely happy with this car. Yeah, I'd recommend it to anyone. Now, nah, what? A family of five? down to a family of three or four too definitely, definitely. like this is a nice vehicle for you this car is the kind of car if you go to work every day and you work a nine to five yeah all right it's not going to cost you an arm and a leg to get to and from work because it's fuel efficient that's necessary but then when it's the weekend and you want to go on a little bit of an adventure with yep. your family yeah it gives you that because you guys can load whatever it is you need in the back very much you so. can fit all the kids in the back comfortably yeah you've got all the necessary safety features as well things nice. like child lock for example yes. so if you do have young ones and they're playing around in the back you know they secure in the back that you can have the madam cozy here with you in the front yeah <laughs> You know, Always you, you guys bump your, your, your Apple CarPlay, your that's Android it. Auto, you yep. enjoy the drive, get to where you need to go, mm -hmm. and you don't break the bank doing it. So Correct. it fits a lot of um, lifestyles, yep. and that's what I like about it. It's compatible yep. to a lot of different settings. There it is. All right, great people. So after the drive and after the interior, after the exterior, even in talking about the uh, warranty point that comes with it as well, yes. I would say, I because I, I like this vehicle, y'all, so I'm a little bit biased. <laughs> I'm going to still rate this vehicle a 8.3 all right even with it being manual and me not being able to drive it mm -hmm. mentally i drove it yeah. right i had the experience <laughs> of what it was like to drive it myself yeah, yeah. and even did the conversion of if it was automatic this is how it would feel Definitely. as opposed to you know the manual filling of the vehicle but at the end of the day like i said it is something that is compact but actually high enough that you're able to drive through the city uh park where you need to park mm -hmm. get through the potholes and other conditions yeah, yeah, yeah. you may find out on the road yes. such as we did but at the same time you're able to see higher mm -hmm. than you would if you were in a corolla or a, a car starlet or, right, a starlet yeah. or something like that so yeah. that's why i love the urban cruiser right i think it speaks to the area and the space that you would be driving it in an uh, urban setting yeah, right definitely, definitely. so i like what they did there it spoke to me and maybe that's just branding but yeah. you know talk to the people as well yeah no i also think it's a good car so this is actually my personal demo so i live with the car so i'm not like um being biased or anything i actually live with the car so i'm having a very good time with it um for those of you who don't know i just recently had a child so it's like perfect for someone especially if you just got a new family um we fit everything in the car comfortably um it doesn't cost me an arm and a leg to run the car and yeah just the overall maintenance i think is quite affordable so if you are looking for a crossover that offers a lot of space a lot of value but without a price tag that's going to break the bank i think this is definitely something to consider and if you want to find out more about the car how to even get it feel free to contact me um Tatum Pumani. you'll find me here at Melrose toyota and please actually follow me on instagram guys i realize that i need to have more of a social presence so my handle is mpumani underscore t you can find me there on instagram feel free to send me a dm and ask me whatever it is you want to know about any toyota that we have available um please make sure you like our We'll follow back um, don't worry about that um, and yeah be sure to also like and subscribe our channel comment and go crazy in the comments below so that we can engage with y'all and talk about other cars other cars you'd like to see etc etc and if you guys have um, your own personal vehicle that you'd like me and mr jones to come and review please hit us up in the dms um, feel free to contact us directly and we'll be sure to come visit you yeah there it is great people and so down below you'll see our email my email but then also his contact as well yes. because we want y'all to purchase these vehicles right yeah. we're just not showing them for fun yeah. but showing them how it can be for you yes. and i must say 2024 is a new year no, which means new opportunities are on the horizon definitely. so definitely be on the lookout for what's to come because yes. i'm telling y'all fun times are ahead definitely we're coming in with the bang this year ladies oh, and gentlemen. Oh, <laughs> we're not gonna say too much because you know we gotta build and all that good stuff oh, but sure. it's gonna be good yeah. so without further ado great people we love you all we appreciate you all subscribe 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 if you haven't already done so and until next time cheers Woo! to press on and keep going i love this thing man i love this urban cruiser man what actually what like drove, like attracted you to it like, because again, I, I can tell you like it a lot no i really do i really do i like that it's small yeah and but it still sits up high yeah and it doesn't attract a lot of attention definitely but at the same time you're able to do what you need to do like again like i can see i like being able to see yeah therefore being high yeah um but then at the same time I'm able to do what I need to do. Definitely, definitely. And what is that called? That is a Peugeot 208. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we don't have those in the States. This is a, uh, be glad. These are ridiculous oh. cars. I'm not a fan of Peugeot and I won't oh. lie. Um, Peugeot's, the problem with these French cars is um, because they don't have local like 
supply. Oh. So like my personal vehicle, I have a French car, I have a Renault. Okay. So um, why I'm against them is because I had an incident where my starter packed up and oh. I had to wait like two months for them to oh. get one from France. They had to literally get one Ship from it. France. Wow. So that's the only thing that puts me off the French cars, which yeah. is not a problem that you'll have with um, obviously a Toyota because right. they've got a factory um, that's it. in the country. Yep, and parts galore. Parts galore, definitely. We don't have a shortage of parts. So that's if you it. have your, uh, an issue with a starter, for example, with this car, which I doubt, yeah. but I mean, if you do ever find yourself in a situation like that, you're not going to wait two months to get the problem solved. That's it. Yeah. And that's key. I know that's very you need key. To be yeah, you need it because yes, it was it was tough. The <laughs> stage where they gave me they gave me a nonsense rental car. Oh, and wow. I was like, I need my car back. Correct. Yeah, Correct. Yeah, this is a good.